So we're here today to talk about and demonstrate shockwave therapy. Now shockwave therapy is a treatment that we have available at the clinic and that we, we use a fair bit when it's appropriate um, for treatment of soft tissue conditions, tendinopathies. Um, we tend to use it a fair bit for heel pain or plantar fasciitis. And essentially what it is, is we use a probe. So here's the probe. We use a probe to deliver high energy sound waves to the area where there's pain. And what that's thought to do is increase blood flow to the area, metabolic activity in the area, and start a healing process. So a lot of times with, with issues like tendinopathies and, and plantar fasciitis, that healing process just is really slow or doesn't happen at all. So in combination with a lot of other th treatments um, that we use, the shockwave therapy is an option to get that healing process started. So, Kevin's been nice enough to let me demonstrate on him today. <laughs> so, we're gonna pretend that Kevin has plantar fasciitis or heel pain. And what we do with, with shockwave therapy is we find the area where there's the most pain and that's where, where we'll be delivering the sound waves or the pulses. Now, let's for example say this is when I push through or um, apply pressure to this area of Kevin's heel, he says that's painful. What I would do is also push around that site to find the spot where it's the most painful. And let's say it ends up that this is the most painful site. What I would do is I would draw on that area there, and that's where I would be delivering the sound pulses. Sometimes it's more than one spot. If it is, then we just basically split the pulses between um, the number of areas where it's painful, but it tends to be one or at most two areas that are quite painful. Next thing you do, just apply a bit of ultrasound gel to the site where we'll be doing the shockwave therapy. Then we're ready to start. So again, that's the probe. And all I do is just put it on the skin in the area that I've marked. And then we start delivering the pulses. Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. So as far as number of pulses, it's about 2,000 pulses um, at each site that it's painful. Um, and then it depends on the number of sessions that we need to do in it. Or sometimes the pressure can be a little bit painful and all we do is just decrease that pressure and we make that pressure up over the sessions in which we do the shockwave therapy. Any questions for me? No. No? All right, thanks. All right, so how'd that feel? Good, felt really good. Really good? Really good. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Any pain, discomfort when it was being done? It felt fine, a little strange, um, odd sensation, but not painful. Yeah, so a pretty normal experience with it. It's, it's not a natural thing, but yeah, you'll get that kind of odd feeling to it. Yeah. yeah. So are there any side effects? I've only had two people who've lost their feet from it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so really no side effects at all. That was a joke, by the way. That was um, a joke. <laughs> So most it's really happened, a little bit of pain, um, usually pen at all and some ice is more than enough to get rid of it. Um, bruising is something that's been reported, but I've never had anyone who's had any bruising from it. So again, side effects, a little bit of pain, that's about it. Okay, and is it done in isolation or do you do it with other therapies? So shockwave therapy unfortunately doesn't work in isolation. It has to be combined with a complete program. So especially with tendinopathies, um, strengthening is going to be massively important to resolve issues with tendinopathies. Um, with heel pain or plantar fasciitis, you're going to be looking at stretching, strengthening, addressing biomechanical issues. So it all kind of comes together to get you to really a pain-free place. And how many sessions would I need? So you're looking at about anywhere from three to five sessions. So we always do three sessions to start with and we expect to see some changes in pain levels along those three sessions. Um, if we're getting a lot of relief, but there's still a little bit of pain there, we tend to add on another one or two sessions, but never really done more than five sessions. So three to five tends to be enough. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Thanks.